Behind Your Touch Episode 4 Recap and Review, New Killer on the Loose Hunts Down Sia. Behind Your Touch Episode 4 Recap and Review, the new South Korean thriller rom-com Behind Your Touch, directed by Kim Suk Yoon and written by Lee Nam Kyu, stars prominent actors like Han Ji Min, Lee Minky, Exo Su Ha, Yo Min Kyung, Yang Jae Sung, Park Sung Yun and others. The series is produced by JTBC, Ving and Netflix. The series follows the lives of a kind veterinarian and a grumpy detective. Bong Yi Boon, Han Ji Min, is a veterinarian who has psychic abilities. She can see the past of any person or animal when she touches their rear end. On the go, she meets Detective Moon Jang Yul, Lee Minky, and gets intertwined in cases. Jang Yul is demoted to the rural village Mujin due to being a terrific hothead back in Seoul. To return back to the city, he seeks Yi Boon and starts uncovering various cases. However, their fate changes when Kim Sun Woo, Su Ha, arrives at Mujin and works at a grocery store. Though he seems kind and polite, he has deadly mysteries behind him. Han Jimin was last seen in Our Blues, 2022, Lee Minky's previous hit was My Liberation Notes, 2022, Su Ha's last venture was Besties in Wonderland, 2022, and Su Ha Hurdle, since 2022. Behind Your Touch Episode 4 Review Contains Spoilers Behind Your Touch Episode 4 Recap At the restaurant, Jang Yil asks Yi Boon whether she can read only a person's current memory or those of the past as well. Since she hasn't tested her power in depth she tries it on OK He and learns that the more she meddles with someone's back, she can view their memories from the past also. In the hospital, Sia starts streaming her situation to get donations. Detective Jang Mook gets admitted to the hospital after getting beaten up by the criminal Ted Chang and his team. Thankfully, the criminal gets arrested and detectives Jang Mook, Miran, and Do Ki are rewarded with a promotion. Since Jang Yel went to save Sia from the kidnapper, he couldn't get the fame of Ted Chang's case. This pisses him and he demands Yi Boon to work alongside him in solving cases so he could get back to Seoul soon. They both go about and keep finishing certain cases on the same day. Yi Boon tells him that her hands are delicate and that she has solved enough cases as a payback but he pesters her. He pushes her do the iron palm and fisting training to make her hands stronger. After getting bruised, she goes to the convenience store to get band-aids. Over there, Sun Wu treats her hand and they both spend the night out eating some of the expired food from the store. When Yi Boon talks about her late mother, Sun Wu also opens up about his late mother and the reason behind him coming to Muji. He asks Yi Boon to be his friend since they have a lot in common. He also adds that he has a person that he likes. This makes Yi Boon believe that he likes her. Also read, The Uncanny Counter Season 2 Episode 8 Recap and Review, Forgotten Memories of Pain, Love and Happiness. On their way back, Yi Boon tries to touch Sun Wu's back to learn his memories. Jang Yul records it on his phone for future needs. When Yi Boon successfully tricks him and touches his rear end, she fails to read his memories. The next day at the hospital, when she tries to read a dog's memory, everything looks blurred. This makes her realize that the iron training has burnt her fingertips, causing her to lose her power strength, temporarily. Meanwhile, Jang Yil gets a big case. Apparently, the soon-to-be president's donor list gets stolen and if not found, it will cause a problem in the election. Jang Yel believes that solving this case will help him return to Seoul and so he excitedly goes to meet Yi Boon only to learn about her gone power. He goes to the nearby shop and buys all hand products to massage Yi Boon's palms. On his way back to Yi Boon he shops at OK He Doki store and gives OK He the free lip balm which he got since her lip looked chapped. She falls for Jang Yel. Jang Yel massages Yi Boon's palms and right then, OK He joins. Jang Yel asks Yi Boon to try her power on OK He and she successfully reads. But since she found out about OK He's feelings for Jang Yul she denies telling the truth. Yi Boon asks about the matter to OK He and the latter simply brushes it away jokingly. The following day, Yi Boon and Jang Yul start with the mission and they get a small clue. Then they go to the rally and decide to touch all the citizens' backs to check their memories. This makes Yi Boon panic since she will be termed a pervert if she goes around touching the backs of all the people gathered. When she tries to escape, Jang Yul shows her the video of her trying to touch Sun Wu. Yi Boon instantly calls OK He and seeks her help. As usual, OK He calls all her girl followers including that one guy, and arranges a plan. They all come together to the rally and create chaos. This helps Yi Boon to touch all the people's backs. When she touches one woman's rear she reads a shocking memory and decides to say nothing to Jang Yul. Back at her home, Yi Boon looks at her grandfather, recalling the memory of the woman. Seemingly, it is her grandfather who has stolen the donor list. Then, we see the streamer Sia visiting the convenience store where Sun Wu works at. 
She pretends like a good person on camera and acts rudely on the outside. When she catches Sun Wu, she writes her number on his palm and asks her to call him since she found him cute. She then receives a call from someone she knows and asks her brother to get out of the car as she wants to drive alone over there. During the ride, she gets into a small accident and her car breaks down. It is at this time, a suspicious person wearing all black comes and punches her. He then drags her to an isolated place and stabs her to death. Behind your touch episode 4 review. The fourth episode has once again created a curious G factor at the end. Now that the streamer is dead despite being saved previously, the Mujin village people will become anxious knowing a girl was brutally murdered. From the looks of it, we might think Sun Wu or Yi Boon's grandfather might be the bad guys but on the flip side, since this assumption is easily made, there might also be a twist. Anyhow, the series has been doing really well with a great balance of romance, comedy, and thriller. The actors are doing a fantastic job and the casting is insanely good. Lee Minky's arrogance and Yi Boon's innocence make the pair attractive and promising. The sub-stories of Jang Mook and Yi Boon's aunt make the series feel light-hearted here and there.